In today's world of high-speed connection, text messaging, and social networking, we often find ourselves searching for information. There are millions of blogs on the internet. News, sports, politics, and tech. But I bring it all together for you and present it in a relentlessly unconventional fashion. My name is Zinni Abraham, and this is The Blog Report. It's time now for news. Hi, everyone. As I speak with you, Yuna Lee and Laura Ling are in jail in North Korea simply because they accidentally trespassed into North Korean territory as reporters were caught explained that they had no idea where they were, and yet in spite of that, and in spite of the fact that they didn't record any sensitive information, let alone try to, have been sentenced after what seems to be a kangaroo trial to 12 years of hard labor. Why? You know, I've went around thinking about this for a little bit, and I finally come to the conclusion that between the nuclear missile tests, the rocket launches, and this other action which is arguably aggressive just two weeks later, North Korea is trying to push the United States into a conflict to prove to its own people that it has arrived as a world power. I believe that Kim Jong-il has assessed the economies around the world and felt this is the best time for North Korea to quote, make its move. It's not right, it's certainly not humanitarian, but it certainly is a power move. What should the Obama administration do? Frankly speaking, I think that we should use our best intelligence to go in and secretly get both of those journalists out of jail. At the same time that we're negotiating on one front to have them released, we need to take a covert, aggressive action to get them out. We need to begin to react swiftly and quickly to basically eliminate or at least significantly reduce the illegal arms sales that have been financing North Korea's nuclear moves. This is going to be a tough road, but it's one we've got to take because, frankly speaking, North Korea leaves us little option.